Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Zorn and this is the Flame Test Lab. In this lab, we're going to be looking at how the flame color changes depending on what sample we have. So, we've got a couple different samples we're going to look at. I'm going to go over the setup and safety first. So for this lab, we are going to be working with a couple of harmful samples. So, for safety, we want to make sure we have our goggles on, latex or nitrile gloves. I'm wearing a lab coat, you may be wearing an apron instead. We'll make sure we have long sleeves, of course, pants, and no open-toed shoes. Okay, for the lab, you're going to need a Bunsen burner. I've already got mine hooked up to the hose here. I'm going to be using coffee stirs, wooden coffee stirs. You may be using something different depending on your teacher. I have my striker to light my Bunsen burner. I've also got some distilled water here. And then this is my way speaker filled with just tap water. All of our samples are in way boats in this case, uh, but your teacher may have them in something similar. Let's begin by lighting our Bunsen burner. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my gas. And then using the striker, I'm going to come up and light my burner. You want to make sure that you have a nice blue flame when you light this. So you can adjust the chimney. If you turn your Bunsen burner on and notice that you have a yellow flame like this, that just means that your mixture of oxygen and gas isn't quite right. So go ahead and adjust your burner until you get a nice blue flame like that. It's a very satisfying sound when you have it lit correctly. Okay, now the procedure for this lab is quite simple. I'm going to take one of my coffee stirs. I'm going to dip it in distilled water. And then I'm going to take some of my sample here. You want just a small amount. You don't want to use a lot. If you use a lot, the excess may fall off inside the Bunsen burner, clog it up, no good. So just a small amount, and then I'm just going to pass it through the burner. You notice I get a little bit of orange there. Don't want to leave it in the flame too long because it may light your coffee stir on fire. And then you're going to get false colors. So just pass it through until you see the color and then make a note of the color. When you're done, just put it in the waste speaker like that. Don't want to leave these out. Do not reuse your coffee stirs. Okay, so you're going to use a fresh coffee stir each time. Do not double dip in your uh, distilled water. So. Once you've gotten your distilled water and your sample, if you're all done, don't dip it back in the distilled water or the sample. Just, re, uh, just grab a new coffee stir. Okay, so again, pass it through and then put it in the waste speaker, just like that. We've got plenty of these. Your teacher may have you using something a little bit different. There is a tool that you can use for this lab, but I'm using the coffee stirs in this case. So let's get the lights and let's see what this looks like.